Hello to all and welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is the May 11th through to May 12th of 2023 energy read. So we're going to have the last quarter moon on the 12th of May in Aquarius. So there may be some complicated emotions. There may be some form of forced change. In a positive sense, forced change could be opportunity. And so the message with the last quarter moon in Aquarius is to not underestimate yourself. Watch for insecurity. There is a great ability at this time to benefit regarding one's imagination and creativity. So for this reading, I've been guided to the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. Overall message, please, for May 11th and 12th of 2023. Interesting. So I saw the Patience card before I started shuffling. I'm now seeing a different card that also says Patience, right? So during the Mercury retrograde uh, in the first half of May of 2023, it's a great time to plan a path of triumph, right? What does this number seven year look like to you? What does triumph represent to you? For it's now time for positive movement forward. So this is in the thoughts position of the circle spread. Spirit saying um, with the number eight, it's time to take all of your knowledge and wisdom and to plan uh, how you're going to move forward this year. They've really been talking to me, Spirit has, about uh, those who are sitting in this energy of discontent and boredom, right? Uh, it is time to plan positive movement forward and to not get stuck in energy of boredom and discontent because there's so much opportunity when we have the number seven here. Effort equals triumph. Knowledge equals uh, power. And so, Spirit saying creatively, keep on keeping on, right? What are you creating day to day? Uh, follow the signs uh, on the 11th and 12th of May because a spirit is helping to guide the collective with this strong intuition card. Yeah, in the actions position, we've got conflict and defeat. Now, this type of energy can take place during the Mercury retrograde, and that's why we need to move forward positively. We don't want to get stuck in energies of feeling conflicted or defeated or unfulfilled, right? Because it is indeed time to plan positive movement forward with your life. So... For some, and for many, okay, uh, the Partnership and Alliances card is indeed coming together with like-minded people, coming together with soulmates, coming together in partnerships when it comes to a business or organization so that you can move towards a brand new path in your life, so that you can be free of conflict, defe defeat, or discontent. So subconsciously, it's time to be free from this negative, worry, depressed thinking here and to trust that spirit's bringing the collective through a very spiritual transformation where you can now rise higher in your life path experience thus far. New partnerships or alliances are being uh, guided by spirit to come together so that the collective can move forward positively from here on out. Okay, so day to day, here's that number seven card of triumph. Your efforts will lead you into a path of triumph. It just may be uh, that you're needing to still follow your intuition and trust that spirit's helping the collective through a very spiritual transformation. 
Yeah, because uh, the 13th and 14th is going to involve a waning crescent moon, which is about kind of withdrawing. It's it's kind of uh, time to wait. So I feel like there is something coming to mind for the collective that is triumphant. And you're like, oh my gosh, it's because of what's coming to mind here um, on the 11th or 12th of May uh, that I have recognized transformation in my life. I didn't sit in, in energies of discontent or boredom, but instead I planned who I wanted to partner with or who I who were my people you know who else is interested in what I'm interested in doing for now is a time of knowledge equals power power will lead the collective towards the right partnerships and will help the collective to bring things full circle so we've had a, a world energy coming up where indeed old chapters are closing and now it's time to uh, bring things full circle in your life and plan a, a, a portal to triumph, right? Your efforts, your time will equal a, a outcome, right? Uh, uh, the manifestation of something in your life. In fact, Spirit's saying on the bottom of the deck, we've got a firm foundation here. So Spirit's helping the collective to go into and through the portal of a more solid foundation, right? A more stable and secure area uh, of money and home and family. Spirit's really trying to bring that harmonious energy back in the area of family and partnerships so that uh, unhealthy situations can fall away. So Spirit's bringing to the collective mind spiritual and, and material prosperity. Stand your ground, ask for what you want, because now it's time to bring things full circle in the inner strengths position and to step into the portal of a new triumphant doorway. Something exciting is going to come. Gosh, I don't know if it's going to be the 11th or 12th that's going to ebb and flow for different people. But there is some really something really good coming to mind that's lighting up the collective solar plexus chakra. Right, I can now move uh, onward into uh, the direction of success with the number six, into the direction of harmony and peace. Uh, so, yeah, here comes passion. If you follow your passions and you try different things, you will recognize some form of wisdom and knowledge that it's time to create a new chapter. Some of you are coming into partnerships with others, maybe closer to the 12th, which would be on a Friday. Uh, but there are spiritual unions, right? Spirits trying to bring the collective with the number three here to create and give birth to commitments, partnerships, contracts, marriage, you know, to now move ahead and make some decisions and spirits guiding us all the way with that number seven triumphant success will help for the collective to sacrifice the muddy waters of the past old emotions will fall away and balance will return if the collective will take their old emotional uh, difficulties and plant some seeds here's how i can help other people to heal here's how i can guide others uh, because Spirit's saying, as you use the power card of the Elder and the Lion, uh, with that knowledge and wisdom energy, it's time to set goals and to conquer everything between where you stand and your prey. Because Spirit's saying, as you research, learn, practice uh, new things, you will be freed from the mental conflict of the past. Yep, it's time for new beginnings and for the heart chakra to light up take authority over your journey let your light shine watch for the signs because something's going to speed up rather quickly spiritual strength choose wisely pour your heart into what you love okay so i'm going to confirm and clarify with the deviant moon tarot deck i like to confirm and clarify with the tarot deck because it helps me sometimes to pinpoint certain astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit wants me to translate for or about. So there are many here who are patiently planning your way towards success or you have recognized a path of success and abundance and now spirit saying continue to plan, you know, this next chapter. Congratulations if you guys have recognized a path of greater abundance uh, or congratulations if you uh, receive that. Gosh, maybe on the 11th. 
So in the thoughts position, we do have indecision between two. Could have to do with a business uh, or have to do with some form of money. Yeah, Spirit's saying move forward positively. Come up with one or two projects or ideas. And trust that this is a time to connect with others and to come up with different ideas. Okay, so discontent and boredom needs to be replaced with this beautiful major arcana in the form of the hanged man. I can connect with others and observe. I can come up with ideas and put them into practice. I can plan because I don't really need to take any action. I am recognizing that I have grown. So here comes communication via, I feel, a business or organization with the Page of Swords energy, some form of truth, and then this ability to uh, recognize the signs. I waited something out, and now, after putting myself through this energy of conflict or feeling defeated, boom, my actions have led me into the direction of the Ten of Pentacles. A beautiful outcome to your hard work. Really feeling fulfilled, passionate, excited about with the lover's energy, Gemini type energy. Passionate about new partners, alliances, connections, contracts. So subconsciously they're talking about this Queen of Cups type energy. We do have down here with this intuition card. I was going to mention it, and of course I didn't, but this sometimes represents to me Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and then we have uh, maybe a younger air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, uh, with the Gemini being in the emotional aspects position. There could be just a family member, friend, uh, connection of sorts that uh, you're waiting to hear about if you are water energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But Spirit saying it's a time of transformation to really look at your projects and your ideas. Follow your intuition and trust that this communication will come in uh, from a business or organization that's going to bring you not only greater abundance from the 9 to the 10, but also a lot of passion and excitement here. So yeah, some are just sitting in this Eight of Swords energy of feeling stuck or trapped in your circumstances, right? And if you just create change from looking at the swords, turn around, go down a new path, which is the staircase, you could find your exit. You could then go into the direction of triumph, a greater, more highly advanced part of yourself. So keep on keeping on when the Nine of Wands shows up because we have the end of a journey. Trust that your efforts will pay off patiently plan this beautiful amount of income here because it, it's coming unless you continue to focus on conflict defeat discontent or boredom watch for the signs spirits guiding you towards the right partnership or is bringing people into partnership where there will be a great amount of money in abundance just feeling very stable and secure so yeah there could be a, a passionate conversation or a conversation in the area of family or business with someone who has water in their chart pisces cancer or scorpio if that's the case i think for you guys spirit saying keep on keeping on because things are going to go full circle and a new portal is going to open up for you there we have the ace of cups which looks like the queen of cups again but this is indeed uh the a, a path of overflowing peace joy and happiness someone's very happy because of another maybe king of swords energy libra aquarius or gemini um maybe you're wanting if this is a relationship thing a new path with air energy, but you're feeling stuck or trapped. You're worried about the truth. You're wanting to move into the path of triumph when it comes to a passionate partnership, but you may be feeling a bit conflicted or conflicted or defeated. Okay. For others, you know, maybe this is a new path with the air energy, or this is a new path in the area of business. Keep on keeping on because the attention and recognition you are going to receive with the wands energy representing business is going to come after your hard work work and efforts and there we go two of cups a very blessed connection which by spirit is bringing to the collective is going to bring some form of abundance money win inheritance 
It could be soul connections in the area of family, but there is coming to the thoughts of the collective on the 11th and 12th of May uh, that there's a new opportunity, uh, a path that is blessed with the Ace of Pentacles that will grow and prosper. Ooh, I see some harsh words going back and forth. Watch for that energy because that does happen during the Mercury retrograde. It actually is a time to focus on you, your success, and to go away from the negative energies of others. Wow. We've got uh, kind words and messages coming or going back and forth with Leo type energy with the strength card as a major arcana. Uh, there could just, yeah, and someone's kind of like, hmm, I don't know. Do I want this? Should I walk away from this? Um, I'm unsure. Uh, for Earth Energies, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if you have been focused on new projects, ideas, and changes in the area of a business or organization, Spirit is helping with the major arcana, the star, Aquarius-type energy, uh, to bring success and victory or wishes to come true in your life. Yeah, someone here is discontent and bored, right? Not feeling very fulfilled emotionally in Spirit, saying there will be people out here of like mind who want to work with you. So you can give birth to that if you choose. Write down what that means to you. Because with the major arcana, the empress, and the nine of cups, there will be this realization in hindsight, maybe by the end of the day on May 12th, that a wish has come true. And oh my goodness, I can bring an end to unfulfilling communications conversations. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. I followed Spirit's advice and I continued... With the Eight of Wands to um, go quickly into the direction of something or someone better. So someone here is conflicted, but it, you know, you're going to receive the right attention and recognition, I think, financially, where you're not going to uh, want to say no. So three of swords and the five of swords. It's like I'm walking away from a situation that didn't serve me. And spirit saying, when a better offer comes, when a wish comes true for you, remember to be kind to others because that could affect your journey in the path ahead. So, wow, congratulations to those of you who have been patiently planning and are now actually contemplating one direction or the other when it comes to certain commitments, partnerships, or contracts. Again, watch for signs. Keep on keeping on. Eventually, some form of communication is going to come to you, and I think you're not going to see it coming. You're going to be looking at things from every perspective and hopefully freeing yourself from discontent and boredom because there's a money in abundance when it comes to what you're passionate about. And the right partnerships are what Spirit's trying to bring the collective uh, together with and to. See, positive movement forward. We got the two of abundance here twice. So Spirit wants to talk about the two of uh, coins. Life may be feeling a little bit out of balance, especially on May 11th. Uh, you may be working multiple jobs. Or you're trying to make a change when it comes to your dream career. It is important to keep things light at this time. Stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible, right? Don't become discontent and bored because society is all about change and the new, you know? So build upon your current ideas, come up with new ideas, and remain playful. Follow your intuition, you know? And if you're multitasking, feeling like you're taking on, uh, on a lot, right? With the Nine of Wands in the inner strengths position spirit saying multitask with a positive attitude because that's what's going to bring the nine and ten of pentacles your actions are going to lead you towards abundance so for some of you you know you may have been confused about a certain situation in your life and now it is going to feel by i think the 12th of may during the last quarter moon in aquarius uh, where everything's going to start to become very very clear to you whether the truth is going to be revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or just discovered on your own, it's going to feel really, really good to be awake and aware. If you need to ask for some time alone, you know, feel free to do that as well. Wait for the signs, right? Because we got the Queen of Cups and the Intuition card, uh, because you are outgrowing uh, discontent and boredom. You're starting to acknowledge the path not only of success, but again, of um, passion and joy in your life once again. 
a solid foundation and recognition. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey or you just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the spring special, which is described in the box below as well. I just want to say a very big thank you to uh, those of you who've liked, shared, subscribed, come to me for month-to-month -month readings. To those of you who uh, let me know in the comment section below and or via email how these messages have resonated for you, that helps me a lot. I want to say a big thank you uh, for all of your donations, for that's what keeps me up and running day to day. Take care. God bless.